Good afternoon, this is Ray with OP News, PC Gaming by PC Gamers. I'm here with Joe Maduera. He's a creative director at, how is it, Airship? Airship Syndicate. Airship Syndicate. Airship Syndicate, creative director. We just had a chance to look at Battle Chasers and the artwork is beautiful. I mean, it's just a beautiful game. Thank you for joining us today. Oh yeah, thank you, thanks a lot. So can you introduce us to the Battle Chasers universe? Yeah, so Battle Chasers is kind of like a steampunk fantasy RPG universe. Uh, it's based on a comic series, actually. Not many people know from way back in the day uh, that I did. <clears throat> um, but you don't need to know anything about the comic to enjoy the game. I just want to mention that. Um, but that the world is kind of cool because it has... Uh, you know, sword and sorcery technology. So you'll have giant robots and tanks fighting swordsmen and, and mages. So it's it's a, kind of an interesting blend. And that's where a lot of the cool art comes from because I think back then I just wanted to make stuff that I had fun drawing. So uh, it is very art centric. It's a beautiful game. How many uh, were working on the art team? Um, man, our art team is very small. I think we have uh, like four guys in-house, and then we have um, two contractors, if you yeah. uh, uh, count the visual effects, so we have, we have a pretty small team. There's a, there's, a broad there's a broad scope in the art of the game, because I saw there was uh, kind of isometric elements, there were flatter elements, there were polished 3D elements. Is that coming down from the top, or the, the different elements of each des designer? No, I mean, it was all, you know, very cohesive and planned yeah. from the beginning. It all comes together very well. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we planned on it from the beginning. We, we try to do things in a way that we can execute very well with our small team. I mean, pretty much all of the environments that you saw are done by, like, two people. So... Uh, and what are the tools they're using? Um, so we, we are a Mac studio. We use uh, 3DS Max and... Uh, there's no ZBrush sculpts, there's no normal maps or anything. We're pretty old school uh, with the, the look of the game's a little more illustrative. Obviously a lot of the textures and everything are painted in Photoshop, so uh, it's, it's very uh, old school. How long has the game been in development? Um, if you, technically two and a half years, but I, I, I would shave off six to eight months of that just because a lot of that was like, you know, three guys in coffee shops working from home and like, you know, gearing up for a Kickstarter, and we had very few people. The American so. Dream. I heard the Kickstarter was a big hit. Kickstarter was huge. I can honestly say uh, we would not have had the chance to make this game um, if it wasn't for our Kickstarter backers, so I have to thank them very much. Because a lot of times, you know, you might be doing a game that people will love, but selling it to a publisher just on a concept alone, you know, hey, a turn-based RPG, it's not really the sexiest thing right now. Uh, but a lot of times your fan base gets it, though, because uh, they like those kind of games. I think the next Call of Duty is going to be turn-based, actually. <laughs> is that how they're doing it? Hey, man, that's pretty cool, though. XCOM is pretty fun, a uh, turn-based uh, shooter there. But, um, yeah, so it gave us the opportunity to, uh, you know, get the game further along so that uh, people could kind of get, get what we were trying to do and see the vision and see it more polished and the level of art we were trying to go for. And when is it set to release? October 3rd, we just finally, usually I say toward the end of uh, yeah, the year. Yeah, that's the first date we've gotten <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's the date, October 3rd. So it is written. Yeah, so it is so written, it is so it shall be. Yeah, and it'll be uh, PC and consoles simultaneous release. That is great. Joe Maduera, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hey, thanks for the kind words, and we appreciate it. Thanks. Battle Chasers, a beautiful game. Thank you.